Hello everyone, hi YouTubers, hello. How are you doing people, how are you doing? Hello, this is the M of the M&H of Bespoke Hairstyles, here to do a part two, a continuation on the conversation that Don and I had. The first posting we did was, um, I think I titled it, uh, A Male's Perspective of Natural Hair. And from that posting, I just began to realise, even though Don and I have had conversations, I began to realise that I know only a little or near nothing. And I want to learn, uh, this posting is now inspired by me, M Melissa wanting to learn how to um, understand me uh, better um, in terms of my physicality and me being a black woman an Africa, of African descent and um, being a mum of three black children who I know in the future uh, there, there is going to be a conversation about the fact that they are different because we live in the UK. And I want to learn how to equip myself to teach my children how to be proud um, or just to demonstrate yeah, with their shoulders back um, um, that they are content with their gift, their blessing, their African hair, their broad lips, their broad nose, their, their full lips, their broad nose, their, wide their eyes. bright And so I feel like you, Don. That's beautiful. Will be able to help me and support me in that journey. Sure. And I feel like um, there's a lot of us in this situation. So this video posting is not for everyone. This posting is for people like me who want to equip their children into dealing with a situation in the future where somebody calls them a name or they encounter racism as little people. Um, and um, you suggested, and I thought it was a brilliant idea, let's start from the beginning, understanding melanin. That's correct. But before we do that, you told me a story, of, I think a few weeks ago, about your little girl. Yes. Um, who experienced, who you basically have prepared for that moment where she will be told she's different. Yes. So what would be good is actually, because that's an example of something I fear for, and right. I've heard us happen in my son's school, yes. um, and how she dealt with it. So if I understand how she's dealt with it, it means that uh, I will be able to take the way you've taught her and just switch a bit in my own style sure. to help my kids deal with those kind of scenarios in the future. So just tell them what happened to your little girl. Well, basically... You need to be... Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, basically... Um, my daughter came back from a week away with her school and informed me that a Caucasian friend of hers had some tickets to a concert which she was offering out as anyone who wanted to actually accompany her to the concert. On the top of my head, I can't remember what the concert was, but it was one of those usual Caucasian type concerts like, uh, what's the name of Montana, Hannah yeah, Montana. Montana. One of those types of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they were about four melanated beings. Black children. Or black children. Brown skinned children. That's, that's correct. And all the girls were jumping up, you know, wildly and excitedly, waving their hands, putting them up. And my daughter explained to me that the girl made a statement and said, I can't choose any of you because you are brown. So she tells, so all the black children, yeah. they can't be chosen for this concert. That's correct. To because go of their skin colour. Because of their skin colour. And how did she deal with that? Um, so what she told me, she didn't actually respond. But what she said to me is that it brought to her attention. Okay. Right, so she quietly that, yes. understood what was going on. Yes. Okay. And it brought to her attention what I have been teaching her from as long as she has become conscious okay. that there is a distinct difference between the races and it's shown or it plays out itself in racism against us. Right. Okay. Institutionally, subliminally sometimes. Right. But somewhere along the line, even though you may feel that you and them are the greatest of friends and there's nothing wrong with that, that 
differences showed will show itself. Will show itself. And so how did she how do you think psychologically she did it affect her? How, how do you think she felt I, about it? I personally I feel that she felt a little sad. Okay. That I was actually right in my okay. explanation. Okay. Because obviously Okay. I am giving her an explanation of something, but right. in her interfacing with everybody, she hasn't seen that. I so obviously, she's going to think, I wonder if daddy's wrong. Right. Daddy doesn't know everything. He doesn't know everything. You know, understand. this is a natural phenomenon for a child to I actually, understand. yeah. But when it actually did play itself out, it seemed to me she was a little sad that it was the truth. Okay. But at the same time, she wasn't affected by it. You equipped her. Because she was already equipped. To deal with her. And she was. I had prepared her for this. So okay. when it did happen, it wasn't devastating to her. That's she what I need. She acknowledged it, but okay. it wasn't devastating. So to this her. is what I need, Storm. I right. need to, for my children, if this were to happen, for them to be able to deal with it as your daughter did. Yes. So, Don, teach me, teach us about melanin. Okay. I would teach you what my living ancestors and those that have passed have taught me. I am not the author of this information. Okay. I am just a conveyor of the information. Okay. 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 Um, me and my partner, from a very young age, or from from the children were. You're, you're out of frame, though. So Sorry. Come into frame. Where are we? This way. <laughs> That's you. Yeah. yeah. Me, and yeah. I, me and my partner, yeah. from a very young age, had embarked upon the journey of letting our children know who they are. And be proud of who, who they are because we've met each other in an organization which was promoting black proudness okay black acknowledgement of our achievements etc so it is so what you're saying god is you're taken yes <laughs> <laughs> you're a joker <laughs> Message. That's right. So basically, anyway. Um, so you and Dion met in an environment where it was about self pride, education, and all. So you are w working towards the same goal. So we were working kids. towards the same goal. Okay, so, I you know, as some will say, God brought you together, or others will say, our ancestors brought our path so, together. Yes. Okay. okay. So it wasn't an issue dealing with these situations because we were not conflicting against one another yes i understand that because that can be an issue almost definitely yeah, you understand, I understand it, that. It, and it can be very confusing to the child right when two parents, parents have opposing have a... views okay and the child doesn't know which way to go i understand it leaves them in a state of confusion or not knowing and they get very if you like complex in their thinking right okay and overburdened i understand yeah so we looked at, we were all in the habit of buying books, reading, okay. etc. But you know, just through research and I guess, you know, spiritual guidance, we were able to, um, if you like, source certain books, okay. which would basically speak about us as a person right. and our basic physical being, who we are. Right. Yeah. How we're made up. Okay. What our properties are. What makes us black. What makes us black. Yeah. Okay. And on that journey, we basically discovered that it was a chemical, or as they call it, if it's in your body, a biochemical within our body, which is termed melanin. It's a melanin. term melanin. Melanin. M-E-L-A-N-I-N. -E Melanin. Melanin. Okay. It's not a word that you hear bouncing about in your media very often, which over time will become apparent why. So basically, we said that we had to teach our children how to be proud of themselves because they have a lot to be proud of. Unfortunately, right. we are living in an environment where the opposite is being programmed into them, not to be proud of themselves. So we had to deal with how do we now psychologically empower our children so that they do not, they do not grow up with an inferiority complex 
Yes. Can I say something? You can, sure. So, my previous recording, I talked about, um, because I grew up in Sierra Leone, and then I came when I was 13. Right. And so, the, the fight to say I'm proud to be black only started when I came to this country. Because in Sierra Leone, I was black. Period. I didn't have to think about it. That's correct. It was just a natural phenomenon. Natural. And it came at 13, and I learned a phrase that I didn't understand. I was saying it, and I could wear the t-shirt, but I didn't understand it. Right. I'm proud to be black. Yes. Because I happened to be black. Yes. I didn't choose to be black. Yes. I'm content with what I've been given. Yes. But the word proud to be black, I felt, I didn't, I, that word is important. Those words are important, but I, I, I needed to go deeper. Why should I be? Why should I? I mean, as I've gotten older, I'm 40 now, so of course yes. I get it. But it, it, the, when somebody says that word, when, when a little person says that word, um, there is much more of the depth. That's they, they, they understand why they're saying those three words. I, you know, I am proud to be black. That's not three words. But you know what I mean? Saying yes. that sentence. Right. So it would be good is when, you know, like where you say I'm, I'm proud to be black or this is, you know, yeah. I made up with this melody. To actually have facts, yes. physical facts on why this is a blessing, because I feel it and I know it's a blessing. Yes. So that's what would be good to just kind of give us the facts on melanin. Okay. Melanin is basically a biochemical which basically secretes from a pituitary gland okay. into our skin into little pockets called melanocytes. Right. Okay. okay, which gives us color. Okay. But it acts as a filter to filter out the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. It also acts as an anti-aging property. Anti-aging? Anti-aging property, okay. sorry. Anti-aging properties. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It combats diseases if it's looked after properly. Okay. 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 So it's an anti-disease agent, if you like, okay. for lack of a better word. Okay. Yeah. It's also in all your functional um, intestines, limbs, etc. Melanin is? It's in your brain. It's in your organs. Okay. It's Okay. I thought it was just in your skin. No. Okay. All beings upon the planet has melanin. Melanin is a type of blood. No. Melanin is a chemical compound. It's a chemical compound. Yes. Which is in all living things upon the planet. Right. Okay. All living things. All living things have melanin. Right. Anything that lives and dies, plants, animals, humans, okay. trees, all have melanin. Including people who are not black. Correct. White but people. That's correct. They okay. also have them. They're black. In definition, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. But in appearance, no. Because okay. Because they do not have an abundance of skin melanin. Oh. They have a lack of melanin. Okay. Okay. Which manifests itself as white skin. With blondish, bleached blue eyes. Ah, so the more melanin you are, the darker, the darker you, you are. That's correct. The and the more protection you have. So you have more protection against the sun. That's correct. You have more protection against diseases, That's anti-aging. Correct. That's correct. So you want to be black. That's you want to be black, black, black. Most definitely. Because okay. if you know of our ancient culture, okay. the blacker you were, the more attractive you were deemed to be. Because you're more healthier that's in a way. Correct. You're, you're, Naturally, that's correct. Naturally, you are more potent. You are more potent the darker you are. Yes. Okay. All, we... living, all living things upon the planet need the sun. Okay. We, if the sun was to. But do we need the sun a bit more because yes. of our melanin? Thing? Yes. Okay. Because all... when I add to the sun and I the sun hits me, I mean, my skin literally tingles. Yes. So. It feels like it, like it wants more of it. You are actually taking in energy, right? Energizing. Okay. Okay. Your your melanin is like a battery; it stores information. Right. It stores energy. Okay. Okay. You understand? So 
this is why we're quite a vibrant people because as the sun is coming, we're being energized. Right, okay. Okay. So basically if I was explaining it to my little one, yes. who is five, and my like my nine year old, yes. how would I simplify that so they understand the benefits of what they have, which is their brown black skin? Okay, the way that I thought was it wasn't myself but an author who wrote this book. Okay. And the book is called Melanin and Me. Melanin. It could be melanin and yeah. me, or melanin and me. Okay. Okay. Can that be seen? Yeah. Quite I clearly think so. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you see? Hope you can. Yeah. And the author, I don't know whether you can see that because of the. Okay. So it's it says, um, illustrated by Chris Asimandes Hall, and this one bit says Beverly Dyson Crespo. Um, and within the book, I think you get um, a photograph of them. So that's a good guide for you. So can you see that? Mm -hmm. a bit, a bit. Can I? That's yeah. Is that me. better? Yeah. And then go down a the gentleman also. That's can you correct. see? So this book is called Melanin, Melanin in and Me. So that's a good place to start. That's right. And I'm going to okay. read the book because it's very short. Okay. And it's almost like a poem, but if you continually recite this to your children, in their psychology, they will understand exactly what melanin will do on a very simple level. Because melanin is okay. a very complex compound. Right. And there is so much to know yeah. about it that I don't even know in my meeting. So th that's a good one. So we are learning together. That's correct. Because this is me trying to learn about melanin. And so... Anything you feel we've missed out on, if you could add to the comments or do a video response to this, your knowledge on melanin. And so we can bring that information together and share, basically, for our children and for us and for our children, the next generation. That's correct. <laughs> so melanin and in me. Okay. And the next so, page. And the next page. Mm -hmm. Okay. I read a book the other day about a chemical in our bodies that color the skin. The name of that chemical is melanin. And I'm so glad it put the brown in me. It's even in my eyes to help me see. Without it, I could never play beneath the sun because harmful rays could burn my skin and ruin all the fun. Now don't get me wrong, I like shade, shade's okay, but I wouldn't want to play in it every day. And my brothers and sisters are just like me, they'd rather be in the sunshine, not under a tree. I asked my mother what else melanin could do, and she said, honey, it protects you from diseases too. The next day, I raced to school to tell my teacher all I knew. She smiled at me and said, everything you say is true. And besides, it enhances your reflection. But more importantly, it gives you a strong connection. To all your relatives here, and across the sea. Well, for the rest of the day, I couldn't do a thing. I just waited and waited for the school bell to ring. And when I got home, I bent my knees to pray and said, God, sorry, and told God that I would thank him every day for having the wisdom and foresight to see how important it was to put melanin in me. Melanin has many properties. So, melanin has so many properties that it is difficult to list them all. But here are a few of the very important ones. Melanin protects your skin from the harmful ultraviolet rays 
that causes the skin to age and wrinkle and keep it looking young. It acts like a healing agent. Whenever there is a cut on the skin, melanin surrounds the area while it heals. That's why the area around the cut is usually darker. Oh. It is melanin doing its work. It also helps to protect us from diseases. The importance of melanin has been recognized since the time of the ancient Egyptians, who built a tremendous civilization based on the science of melanin. Its presence in the body was considered to be a gift from God. There is still a lot we don't know about melanin, but we are finding out new and wonderful things about it all the time. Melanin, a gift from God, a blessing. Be yeah, proud of who you are because you are a representation of the cosmic forces which we call God. That's okay. very good. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. There's a lot of for me to think about. Okay. And a lot. I mean, there's a lot of information there in terms of. The, it's all positive. It's all great. What what I'm getting is yes. it is normal to have this. This, this. this is normal. This is a normal and natural right. existence in the physical manifestation of what we call life. Because everybody has melanin. Everything has melanin. Okay. We are just blessed to have the most abundance of melanin. We are blessed. Like we're talking about nature. We're talking about nature. And at the nature level, we are blessed. So because it protects us. That's correct. So you have in your built-in sunblock. It's a cloak. You have in it's your... like a cloak. That's right. You have in okay. your built-in sunblock. But that's a subject so dark, for another day. I, I just got it. Dark is attractive. Most definitely. Black is attractive. Most definitely. You want to be dark. That's correct. Because why else? Why would you try and tan yourself? Exactly. There you go. So that's the psychology so, behind it. So, so you know, actually, they, and when you when you try and tan, you want it to be as dark as possible. That's you, In you, in you, deep in you, you know... The blacker you are, it enhances your reflection, as the book just said. The more healthy and they know this. that is it. They don't say it, but their yeah. actions. Because the you want to be dark, dark, dark. There you go. So the greater the tan. So the even more. us, when we catch the sun, we should celebrate the fact that we are darker. Like it's supposed to be summer here, but if it was a sunny, it was a hot summer, and we are darker. It means our melanin is. Potent. And we know when we do go into the sun and look darker, we feel better for it. Yeah, we do. If I look up my tan, you look, what is the word? You look healthy. healthy. Okay. You look healthy. That's so true. I remember when I came from Gambia on holiday and I came back and I was black. Yes. And everyone said, my God, you're, you're glowing. Good. You look healthy. I look fabulous. I look amazing. Because remember, so, you have caught the rays of the sun. Yeah. Right. You yeah. have stored it. So when you're coming now, you are emanating the sun out of you. And so my body can in. take it. I can go black. Of course you can. And but, said, but somebody else can try it. Like a lighter shade, like white people can try it. Yeah. And they can't. Definitely not. Skin it, can't your take skin it. will start to strip. Because the delicate... Uh, so it's uh, like a power. It's like rays coming, you know, you're putting right. the sun into you and you, your body can carry it. I know every, not everyone can do that. We're not, so blessed. We are so blessed. Melanin is also a civilizing agent. Right. And in that civilizing, it affects your personality, your behavior. Because we have our nature is communal. Our nature that's is correct. connection. Our that's nature, right. That's this is why nature. this is the civilizing agent that melanin does. It also connect, keeps you connected to the universe. So within you, right. you have an external, if you like, for lack of a better word, so everyone could understand, a moral code or a Bible already in your DNA. Right. Okay. That you know when you're doing wrong. Okay. So, we talked about melanin. Yes. But the next time, I want to talk about the relationship between men and women. Yes. And how it used to be back in, back, way back. Yes. And how it's kind of evolved. And what, because um, you talk about, is it the Sankofa? Yes. Wait, hold on. The Sankofa... Bird, is that what that is? That's there's, correct, yeah. There's a cycle for bird, bird, um, bird, and it's looking back. It's going forward, but it's looking back. And what I want to do is base all my learning experience on this bird. Um, and, um, this is a great book. We'll talk about it, um, another time. But, um, it's what I need to do is try and understand, um, how our relationships have changed and what is actually for us, what we sh what is normal? Because I feel like 
as black people, yes. we're very community led. Yes. And I feel like we're moving away from that. And I want us to, while we're going forward, to look back and understand how it has been the relationship between men and women and what we should be getting back to. That's correct. So it would be great, John. Would you be able to talk to me about that? Yes. Like, yeah. Um, there's a page in this book that I just spotted that I want to share with you, but I'm struggling to find it. And it's the page that has all the um, symbols. And maybe if I can't find it now, and um, Don's going to try and find it, I will um, show it in the next posting because this is a continuation of what we're learning, of, of learning um, about ourselves. But while Don's trying to find it, I want to share with you some of the books that um, Don has brought to me um, that will help our kids um, learn um, about how great it is to be black, basically. This is The Amazing Adventures of Abiola. The Amazing Adventures of, of Abiola, um, written by Jeffrey and Deborah Dean, illustrated by De D Dwayne Ferguson. So that's one, Ferguson. My First Trip to Africa is another one. And it's written by, um, can you see it? Um, it's written by Atlantis Broda, mm -hmm. an eight-year-old. Yes. She's an eight-year-old. Yeah, and that's oh, her wow. father. He's a renowned. And that's her dad. Anthony Broda is also the writer. So father and daughter. My first trip to Africa. Um, another book is Africa on my mind. Um, Africa on my mind, and this is written by oh, same Atlantis Ty Broda and her daddy. Um, can you see? And this is another book that um, Don has brought to us, which is the Melanites Children. The Melanites Children, and That's I don't know who this is written by an author. Some may know him as Dr. Malachi York. Others may know him as Atom Ray, but okay. very in-depth information on melanin. Um, if you can get hold of one of these, it's probably it quite hard? difficult to get hold of these. The others okay. that you've shown, these can be got. you can get them through maybe Amazon. Okay, Amazon. Shops. Okay. You know, if we come together as in African villages and you have a bookstore, you may be able to get those. So I'm going to try. I'm going to start a book list. And I'll put this on the book list. And... Um, you, if you know of any great books that will help our children to be proud and celebrate who they are, then please comment or video response and let's try and get a book for everyone, like a list that is international. That would be fantastic. International. Um, and I don't even care about the language because there's people across the waters who speak different languages and That's want correct. to read a book about the about celebrating being black. So just comment and I will try and create a book list and I will uh, continue updating this posting and on Facebook um, I'll try and create a list under bespoke hairstyles um, and then let's see what we can do with that book list. But it will continue to grow for both children and adults. Okay. But let's start with the kids first. That's important. What were you going to say, Don? I was just saying, just to emphasize on what you said earlier, that when you was in Ghana, sorry, mm -hmm. Gambia. Gambia, yes. And you came over. I'm half you, Gambia you, you, half Sierra Leone, yes. by the way. So I grew up in Sierra Leone, and I went on holiday to Gambia where my mom's from. Mm -hmm. Okay. You kind of found it strange that when you came here, you had to say you were proud to be black. Yeah. But just to basically show you how I see it. Because okay. when you was in Gambia, it wasn't an issue. It was just normality. Yeah. But when you came here, you came into a system that was under attack and your blackness or your brownness was under attack. Right. So the reason that you were starting to say, well, I'm proud to be black, it was like to say that I am not going to accept your definition as black as being horrible, nasty, yeah. terrible, wicked, as how they put in their dictionary. Yeah. So you were basically fighting back or you were you were getting into that mindset right, yeah. where you had to basically... Um, I had to fight. You had to fight back or repel the negative forces for me, that were coming to you to say, no, I'm proud to be black. Yeah, like, as I'm much like, as what you're yeah. saying... And I can't I even come... Because I couldn't even articulate because for me, it was yeah. normal. So there were good people, bad people, yes. black people. Yes. I was around, I didn't have to define it. Yes. And then all of a sudden, it's like, 
you know, I had to stop fighting. I say I all am. black people are bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that that. So that's, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Yeah, that yeah. That's, it was a defense. It was a defense. But I just automatically because that's what everyone was saying. I that's, said it. That's correct. With no content. I right. felt yes. But obviously, I had it because I grew up with it. Yes. But I didn't have to say it. Of course it's, not, because it's yeah. And that is just showing being in an unnatural environment is makes you, if you like, defensive, which right. others will term as a chip on your shoulder. It makes you very suspicious because you're always being attacked and it alters your behavior pattern yeah. because you're in a hostile environment. Yeah. And if you're in a hostile environment, you're not going to act or produce what you would do in a, what we would call a normal environment. So I want so, my, I, I think I want the children to react to that kind of situation yes. in a very much more calmer, more calm, less intelligent, intelligent way. And a factual way. Yes. So that... Like, teach them. Yes, this is exactly, this is how you respond. Yeah. Right? So if you have to sit them in front of a mirror and get them to, um, if you like, recite how they would respond, yeah. to give them that confidence to give them that eloquence. So you could, yeah, sit them in front of the mirror. You understand? And say, understand. If somebody you says use, this to you, right. you use these words and explain what your melanin is. Explain melanin. That's and you right. know what melanin is. It's our cloak. That's correct. It's mixed. Explain how it protects you, yeah. how it's your built-in sunblock, because others of that age will understand what sun sunscreen, sunscreen is. is. So we have, in, we have in our built-in sunscreen. Sunscreen, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and all different aspects of melanin, which we, we just we spoke just about, about okay, you understand? Okay, okay. And just set the record straight without getting angry, mm -hmm. without getting upset, without feeling in any way inferior. Right. Because if somebody turns around and says to you the black C word, and you know who you are, and you know what your melanin do, you're you out of focus. At, sorry, you laugh at them. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it becomes funny. Okay. Because, because you understand. Not... Okay, can I just, sure. I just remember something. Right, I, I tell you, get this story all the time. Mm -hmm. So, growing up in Sierra Leone, yeah. my life was normal. Yes. In a normal house, everything was normal. Sure. Like, a, like you would be growing up here. Then I came here and I remember mm -hmm. um, talking about a film, I think it was Endless Love, and I was saying, oh, yeah, 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 I've watched that film before. And the whole, because I was in a class of all um, white children. Yes. And the whole class turned around and went, You've watched Endless Love, that's not possible. And I remember saying, Well, why not? And I was loud because I thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Like, and they're like, But how could you watch a video made out like a film made out, with a video made out of straw? Was your, was your video made out of straw? And I remember thinking, That's the most ridiculous question. Like, I remember saying something that's really ridiculous. It was metal, it was like properly made out of metal because they literally thought I came from a hut. Right. Do you know, so, so, what I mean? Like, yeah. the thoughts I came, I live, you know, and I was like, no, 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 I lived in a proper brick. home. Home. Home, yeah. Like, even if somebody lived in a hut. And I used to say things like, I don't care that, like, I know people who grew up in a hut. And, and say so what? They lived in a normal, like, it was just alien to me. That's right. But what I think is happening is that there are children who come from um, a, a, another country, yeah. uh, whether it be Sierra Leone, Nigeria, wherever, Ghana, wherever, mm -hmm. and they try and adapt. Yes, and the, the, the thing that saved me, and I never lost track of who I am, is because I always came back and I never rejected where I came from. And I'm worried that maybe there might be that young person thinking, oh, I, there are too many questions, let me just yeah, conform. forget it. Yeah, let me just John, conform. you're out of, yeah. Sorry, let me just conform and be, yeah. Yeah. you know, a part of it and be accepted. And be accepted. You understand? But yeah. I'm saying you must be accepted for who you are, not for, not anybody else's definition or how they want to define you yeah. or mold you into their image and likeness. Yeah. You must be in your wow. image and likeness yeah. Yeah. because you have a lot to be proud about. In fact, history, as in just the term of the word, is truly black history because without us, there is no Caucasian because they're a product of us. But that is a topic for another day and another time. Right. Okay. Yeah. But we gave birth to these people. Okay. And we have to understand that. Okay. Good. And before we leave, I want to show you this. And it's dedicated to Iget, who is crazy about all of these symbols. <laughs> um, and this is what I wanted to show you Iget. This is especially for you. And no, Donnie's going to take the book back. It's not the second. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> Iget. 
<laughs> I know. I'm wicked. Yeah. Okay, she says, Melissa, you're evil. You're <laughs> and it's called, um, within, um, this is, this book, this is the Adinkra Dictionary. That's cool. The Adinkra Dictionary. And that's, you'll find the symbols and it explains all the symbols and maybe some of the time Don can talk us through yeah. how should valuable we, this book is. Yes, should we give her, um, Bruce Wi Willis W yeah. by W Bruce Willis. So this will be added onto the book list. Mm -hmm. And it's something you can probably get from Amazon or any other yeah. books, but let's try to buy from ourselves first. Yeah, let's try and if see. Possible. Yeah, so if you know mm. where where you are, whether there is a book I mean, I'm based in the UK, so where there are bookstores that could have hold some of these books, that'd be great rather than necessarily buying it from Amazon. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know of one in Dawson, in Kings and Road. Okay. Center Point. Center Point. Center Point. Is it no, North? sorry, Center Prize. Center sorry, Prize. Prize. Center Prize. They were going to close it down. Yes, but they managed to get a reprieve. So okay. It's, so you did it's hear still about there. it. So oh, still yes, there was a yes. massive campaign. That's correct, Which because one? you have to understand that every last avenue of our culture, self-respect, self-preservation, their system is trying to shut them down. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Don. You're Thank welcome. you very much. You're welcome. It's helped me. I think I'll be a bit better at expressing to my children. I think, I, for me, visually, I just see the cloak. Yes. Like, it's a cloak, and you wear it. That's correct. It protects you. So, it's like, thank you, God. That's correct. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you. Yeah. I'm blessed. I mean, even if you want to go into child mode and you can give him like, you know, this is like your Batman mask. This is your yeah, Spider-Man yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, any of you drawers out there that can create images and superheroes. Yeah. Create a, it's, a, it's like that's superpower. Right. Create a melanin with a superpower cloak. From us. a melanated yeah. superpower cloak. Without us, you won't exist. Exactly. So, you know, what else there's you something need? for you guys there that are so good that with the arts. You create a yeah. uh, super. You know, a super being, you know, a superhuman, which we are. As time goes on, as we start breaking it down, you see how superhuman we truly are, yeah. and how we were worshipped as gods by other races before our downfall into the situation which we found ourselves now. But we keep rising now. But we keep rising. We so wake we, up. So we're awakening. We are right. awakening. That's correct. Slowly, and we're learning. That's right. So we are so on a journey are. to become back. To those deities or gods that we were originally were we have that encoded in our dna we just have to want it and work towards it and it will be thank and you john you're welcome thank you. peeps until next time should we give thanks to our ancestors yeah. we give thanks to our ancestors yeah living and those that have passed on to the ancestral realm yeah. we thank you for life we thank you for your struggle and your strength in order for us to be here today and we say to you, O'Shea, we love and bless you always. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Thanks for watching this posting. I hope you've gained Sorry. from it. Lost that. Because yeah. I have. And I feel I'm a bit more equipped to communicate um, the benefits of melanin to my children, even for me. Keep wearing your cloaks with pride. That's correct. And realising... You are the normal people of you the planet. You are normal. Don't this let anybody normal. try to tell you you're this abnormal. This is normal. Right? If you are normal, uh, people who are of a whiter complexion wouldn't try to catch the rays of the sun, which That's naturally correct. we just attract. Okay? So when you're out there and you're walking about your everyday business, just watch the world like a god would sit back and just watch and just look at the behavior and realize who you truly are. Because you'll see everybody trying to be like you, but telling you to be different. Very important. Think about that. Be who you are. That's correct. Stay blessed. That's right. And thank you for watching this posting. Take care of you. Peace. Bye. Ah, well, Monosafel SK, original.